Hi everyone, today we're just going to go through a really quick tutorial on how to create Photoshop brushes from images. Um, the one that I'm going to take you through today is creating clouds. It's very simple. This video is only going to go for about a couple of minutes. Um, so as you can see, this is what they will look like when you're done with them and you don't have to go searching for images. So it's very good for your workflow to just have those brushes available and you can change the colors change the opacity um, so let's get into it and we'll create a canvas and start creating these cloud brushes so I'm just going to start with um, 2000 by 225 pixels I think that's a good size to start with. You can choose what size you want, but this is just what I'm going to go for. So feel free to copy. And we have a white background. So I want to invert this background. So I'm going to press Command I on the Mac. And that's going to change that background to black. And then I've just selected a um, image of some clouds. You can find lots of free images on Adobe stock of clouds. So just pick which one you're happy with. Then I'm just going to use my object selection tool and we're just going to select that and mask. This is a very big canvas so let's just crop it. Otherwise it's going to be annoying to work with on the other page. There we go. Nice and small. So let's drag this across into your black layer, pop it on top, and then we're just going to reposition our cloud so it's in the screen. I'm just going to do like that so it fits into that frame. Beautiful. Okay. So now we have that, we're going to stamp these layers together. So you can do that by pressing Command, Option, Shift, E. And then again, we're going to invert the layer. So you're going to press Command, I to invert so your cloud is black. Then making the brush preset, you can go into the edit bar and scroll down and press Define Brush Preset. Or you can go into your search bar and just write in Brush Preset and it'll take you straight there. Here we go and up comes your brush panel and it shows you the shape of your brush and you can name your brush. So I'm just going to do something simple like Alessi's Cloud. Once you've named it you can click OK and it will show you the shape of your brush. There you go. So let's go try it out on another um, layer. Here we go. Now you can change the colors because it's a brush, you can change the opacity, you can change the shape and size and you can also rotate it which is why I wasn't too concerned about where we put the cloud on the page. I hope you like this video, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.